Good morning, it's 4.26 a.m. Let's go to Paris. Hello, hello. I am obviously in Paris. We landed like three hours ago. We've just had some lunch. I I'm ready for the day. I'm actually here with L'Oreal for literally 48 hours. I'm speaking at their global app. <laughs> Guys, as I was saying, I'm literally here for 48 hours speaking at L'Oreal's global advocacy conference and then I fly from here again with L'Oreal to Mykonos. So it's gonna be a busy week. I'm really excited. Tomorrow, we're going tonight actually to the chateau where the conference is being held. And yeah, tomorrow's the day. I have a couple meetings today which I'm heading out to and then we're gonna head to the chateau. It looks insane and I just can't wait to show you. So it's a little warmer in Paris than it is in London. So I've got this gorgeous Ralph Lauren dress on and then I've got the pink Chanel out for a very lovely outing which doesn't happen very often I just thought why the heck not also it's the Barbie premiere this week which I'm sadly having to miss but on Wednesday night to celebrate we are having a pink night with L'Oreal and Mykonos so I thought I would bring her out but yes our car is literally pulling up to go to the first meeting <laughs> So I've just come out of my meeting and we are right, oh my goodness, I've just clocked. They're opening a diptyque store. We are literally down the street from Rue Cambon, so I think we're gonna go and have a little look in Chanel, if the line's not too big, but if there's a line, obviously not. Although there is a line around the corner, which I'm like, hmm, is that for Chanel? But I just had a wonderful meeting. I'm feeling very inspired, but we're gonna pop in Chanel. We have one more meeting and then we're gonna get some dinner. I got here this morning. I was so hungry. Why did I even have for lunch? <laughs> I had a pan of chocolate and some some salmon it's a disgusting combo i ate them like half an hour apart okay it's fine but it was all i fancied but yes let's head off we have a little bit of time you know what it would have been nice to do whilst we're here going to polen <laughs> pretty quick. i i think it's not too far you know oh look at the autumn tones in celine i can't isn't that beautiful <laughs> i'm so inspired you know what i just don't come here enough in the car and off to the so chateau right, we go. <laughs> it's okay, great, I'm gonna cut that bit out. Just walked into my room. How cute is this? It's like a lodge. I'll show you from the outside when I head out. But let's see what I can show you. Look at this. How do we open it? Ah, oh, here we go. Look, I'm in like the woodland and then the chateau is down there somewhere but this is the room it's lovely so we've just been told there is a drinks reception and dinner so we're gonna head down to the chateau everyone looks very dressed up though and i'm just here in like uh i don't know i got my itinerary for tomorrow which is when i'm doing my talks and things and interviews but i didn't know about the dinner today so i mean i do have a spare dress but i'm like how how nice do i need to be but I'm ready to go and see the chateau. I think it's going to be beautiful. Okay, well, I guess you're getting two room tours now because I've just moved rooms. Basically, I'm here with my manager, Craig, and he just called me. He was like, we're switching rooms. I was like, why? He's like, this room's just gonna be way nicer for content. And I was like, right, but it, it's fine. My room's lovely. He's like, no, 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 trust me. Brighter, brighter. And he's right. It's gonna look better if I get dressed with me. So let me give you a tour. So this is what you see when you walk in. I'm gonna set my lovely suitcases up. We have the bathroom in here. So beautiful. Oh, I love I can't even get over it. I am excited to work for dinner, actually. Oh, I did spill a little bit of protein bar down it. I need to wipe that. And then we come through, and this is the room. I mean, it's very same, samey. It's just brighter. And then we have the balcony. Isn't this wonderful? Okay, right, let's sort. <laughs> I'm just about to top my makeup up. Can you believe my makeup bag is now condensed into this? Wow, hope you're enjoying the view of the ceiling. I'm really looking forward to my talks tomorrow and dinner tonight, I think it's gonna be really good, but I'm also a little, not apprehensive, that's the wrong word. Um, I'm keen to please. I have worked with L'Oreal since I was like 18 years old. Actually, no, maybe even 17 years old. I was 18 when they took me to Cannes for the first time and I was a baby. I was so shy, so afraid, and they've really seen me grow and I think it's really cool that they have so much trust in me now that they invite me to things like this, to talk to literally their global teams. <laughs> like. I didn't even used to talk at all to anyone, let alone stand up and, you know, host a talk. It's, I don't know, it's really cool that they've been here for my whole 
my growth it's it's really lovely i genuinely feel like very much part of the family because they've seen me grow it's exciting but also it you know one of them things that means a lot so i'm just very much keen to please which then adds a layer of like not a layer of pressure just a layer of caring you know what i'm gonna do a little bit of elnet just to get rid of my flyaways because i'm outside and there is definitely going to be wind also it's just such a great smell isn't it i need to start wearing hair perfume that's something that i really want to do a bit random but I think all of my interests are a little random, aren't they? Let's be honest. So I've decided to partially unpack. I, <laughs> guess what shoes I'm wearing? I don't know what I'm gonna do when these die. These are my sister's wedding shoes, which are actually my shoes. I feel like I tell this every time I wear them, but my sister wore them for her wedding. She's not the type to like save things and keep things. And I was like, um, when's it appropriate for me to ask for my shoes back? Look at this wonderful weather. So these are the rooms. We're in these kind of cabins and there's this area up here, which is like, I think it's like a bar. We're basically going to sit up here and wait, wait to be collected. And yeah, I mean, I can't wait to explore. Apparently the shutter is beautiful, but it, this is, is it like a wellness retreat? then because this is what it feels like it says university on the doors on the doors on the gates oh yeah oh there's a ping pong table alors chef pour le dîner ce soir so tonight uh, we go around france so guys this is the food there's salmon here there's also beef i'll show you it looks incredible look at it so this is all the salmon This is plate number two. I've got a cheese crepe, some brie, some emma tile, and then some bread. Very yummy. I am just settling down for the night and I've just done the most me thing ever. Is there a light here? Sorry, it's a little dark, but I was in the shower. I had like, there's like two showers. There's the main shower head and then there's a the lower shower head that you can like detach. And I just used the lower one because it was on a thing. And I just turned the lower one on because I was like, I don't want to get my hair wet. I am just going to shower below the neck. No hair, no problem, no worries. I go to turn the shower off after a very successful shower and I turned it too far and I turned the overhead shower on. So now my hair's soaking. If you ever wondered, what summed me up as a person, it's that. But I've had the most wonderful evening. I have met some really cool people and I am so ready to get to bed because tomorrow I'm waking up at six, which we're an hour ahead. So really it's like waking up at five, but today I woke up at 4.30. So that is a lay-in technically, but tomorrow I have my speeches and I'm just gonna get up and enjoy the property a little bit in the morning. I wanna take some cute photos, I'll show you. But yes, for now, I will sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, good morning. I'm one of those really annoying morning people who's way too happy to be awake at 6.32 in the morning, but I'm gonna head to the gym. It opened two minutes ago. I'm like, let's get it done, let's get going. I've got quite a full on day to day that I'm really excited about, so. This is a really good way to start it. Ooh, what else is here? My gosh, this, this place has everything. I'm just being nosy now, look at my hair. This is how I put it up so it doesn't crease it. Like, give me a kink. And this is the gym. It has everything you can need, including the mirror. Very good. So, I'm gonna spend the next I could actually easily spend an hour and a half in here. This is a very cute gym, but I'm just gonna start my day in the right way and then we should get ready. I'm done and I shall be making use of the water fountain. That's that's the tip. If you're ever in a hotel and there's not water in your room, just go to the gym. There is always water. Wow, that's a really terrible place to light. <laughs> oh, where is the thing that I'm looking for? You know what? It's behind you. So in September, I will be, this is crazy by the way, it will be my third year anniversary of starting my fitness journey, which is wild. It was just post pandemic and I essentially discovered bar core. Just actually, I discovered bar classes just before the pandemic, but then after I discovered like the actual bar core company and then their classes online and 
started this journey and here I am coming up three years later just still loving it and still getting up and you know starting my day with movement and it's been the healthiest change in my life and I think it came at such a perfect time in like my early 20s and I really feel like I am the best version of myself right now genuinely right now I feel so whole I feel so healthy I feel so on it I have so much clarity it's a very refreshing place to be it's really good I was just in the gym right there and dancing around to Taylor Swift and I was like oh my god like I'm so content I'm so it, it's crazy I don't know. I just, I just wanted to share <laughs> feeling. But I'm gonna have a hydration tablet, have a quick shower, and then I have to get ready because I'm meeting Craig at eight, and it's seven thirty right now. So I need to get a move on. It's breakfast time. Let me give you a little tour of the spread. We have an egg station. You know, I will be all over this. We've got the chicken and some salmon, some cheeses. Oh, they look so good. Some pastries, bread. I haven't shown you this jacket yet I don't think but I've just popped it on over my dress and I mean I don't know if I'll actually wear it but it's just you know in your head when you have an outfit I was like this is the outfit and these sunnies are Le Specs. Now I think they're slightly larger than my other ones from Le Specs that I wear. Sorry I'm shaking it everywhere trying to open them up but they're pink how cool. I just think this is the most fun look over a dress that I have worn probably 50 times. It like completely changes it up. But yeah, I'm not going to be, I was saying to Craig, I'm not going to be one of those people that wears sunglasses inside. So they are coming off, but just know they're here. They're part of the look. <laughs> Wow, my hair has grown. We've just finished up some lunch. I don't even remember the last time I spoke to you, but I, oh, I was doing my interviews. We came out, we had some lunch. Let me show you the spread. Got some bread. I have some of this one and the cheeses. This is my favorite cheese. I'm gonna take a note just for future reference. So good. I had some camembert as well and some goat's cheese. And then look at this. I love a key lime pie or like a lime cheesecake and this is exactly this it was insane and then a tart and some cute little chocolate a very good spread but oh there's more over here that i missed no way oh it's potato i thought it was mac and cheese i was gonna say that is a bit of me but we are about to do our fireside chat which is the main purpose of being here i'm talking with a girl called danny and a girl called anna and it's going to be really good we everyone's so nice so it's always really it's really great like a good sign when conversations flowing behind the scenes and then you just know when you're at there it's going to be absolutely fine but yeah this is something i could talk about for hours and especially with it being l'oreal like the l'oreal group i'm just such a l'oreal paris girly so it's very easy but yeah i need to fix my hair Hair because it's just it's grown because the shower attacked me last night i can't believe that happened that's just the most me thing isn't it can you if you ever wondered what i was like as a person that sums up the level of like clumsy nothing's changed so i even had brunch it's actually with my paris did it and now it's time to head back into paris that was so much fun genuinely i could talk about it for hours but i feel like actually it was such an engaging chat wasn't it craig really good so i'm feeling great i do think i may change for the journey is that okay put some joggers on oh, no no i'm gonna wear my dress then we're all getting in the same bus aren't we oh. <laughs> i'll do it when we get there Merci, we're off guys oh what a beautiful doggy it's a beautiful day to go into paris we're gonna get some pizza and sit in the sun it'll still be sunny when we get there won't it yeah it might be bearable yeah, I was going to say, it's intense right now. Oh, I feel like I'm leaving home away from home. This is beautiful. Hello, hello, I've just got to my hotel in Paris. This is my pre-airport hotel. So I get picked up at 5.45 in the morning, very early. I was like, wait, am I getting up at 5.45? Am I getting, no, I'm gonna pick up. Look at the view. This is such a good location. We're literally 30 seconds walk from the Moulin Rouge. But I'm going to grab my bag and we're gonna head out for some dinner. I have a jumper, but I definitely don't need it. It's 30 degrees, but it's the cute little fit. Let's remember the key. Having some dinner, starting with some broth and some bread. It looks so good. And the mains, I got tomato gnocchi and cream pot ravioli. I'm very, very, very happy with my choice. Hello, so I've just got back from dinner and showered and I found out there is a 
a rooftop. They call it a sun, a sun deck, sunroof on floor eight. So we're going to have a nosy. I really hope it's beautiful. I mean, we're in such a central part of Paris. Like it's such a good part of Paris that if it's good, let me just check I've got the key. Yes, if it's good, it will be really good. Also, yes, I'm literally going in my pajamas and a jumper and my sandals because it is what it is. Oh, well, I guess it's shut. But look at the view. <gasps> Stop it. No, no way is this real. Oh, come on. Wow. Okay, I mean, look, that's not impressive, but this, crazy impressive. Well, my friends, it is 10 p.m. I am exhausted. It's been a wild few days and I am feeling just very tired, but very fulfilled. I'm getting up at 4.45 to, as I keep saying, to head to Mykonos. I'm very excited. That is a game with L'Oreal, so it's going to be wonderful. I can't wait to get there and join the group. Everyone got there today, I believe. So I'm very excited, but that will be the next vlog. So make sure you stay tuned and I will see you in the next one. Give this a like if you haven't already. Okay, bye.